Good morning, adventurers. It's our last full day here in Seattle. We're gonna be heading up to Alaska tomorrow, oh which we're God. pretty dang excited about. I'm excited for the views, yeah. not the weather. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> but uh, I think um, this morning we actually hopped in a, an Uber and we're heading to this market called Uwajimaya. Uwajimaya? I Probably not how you pronounce the, like, it at all. International District Chinatown in Seattle, but yeah. we heard that the food should be pretty awesome and they should have some pretty unique items in there. And then later on, we're gonna do our meetup that we mentioned in yesterday's our video. Our very first US meetup. Yeah. Some people have responded that they're coming, so yeah. I think that's so good, it won't just be us. Someone's gonna show up, Someone. I think. I don't know how many people, but <laughs> hopefully some. Somebody. Yeah, I'm excited. It'll be so fun. All right, let's go explore this market and eat some food. Yes. This market is pretty sweet. Over there you have this huge, uh, the actual market area, which has all kinds of Asian deliciousness. And then back here you have this food court area, which has a bunch of food on display. We're getting very hungry looking at everything that everyone's eating. Not how you decide, it all looks so yeah. amazing. I think we found a Korean barbecue place over here. I think we're gonna give that a try. Y'all, I got spicy Korean barbecue pork. It comes with either salad or kimchi, so I went with kimchi. I think these are probably like homemade pickles and then a big hunk of rice. Not too bad, not too bad. It, it's pretty sad though compared to Eric's beautiful feast over there. I went with just the chicken, vegetables, and rice, and they gave me this giant portion of chicken all chopped up in there. We've got a big wad of vegetables over there, and it's all on top of a wad of some sticky rice. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty good. I think we probably could have just shared that one. <laughs> yeah, it's There's really so heavy. This is a dense wad of food right yeah. here. Yeah, this is gonna be good. This chicken looks amazing. Oh I'm just gonna gosh. go ahead and give it a try. Oh yeah, teriyaki chicken. Dropped a little. That's excellent. Oh yeah. Chicken is super flavorful, falls right off the bone. This was $8.99. What a good deal. <laughs> We're the worst at eating food. <laughs> I've had it before. You know how it works? I think so. Well, now I'm scared. You know what? I'm going to try my recommendation or instruction. Yeah. Go ahead. Stop it. Drop it. Okay. You're going to put the rice a good amount in your mouth. Rice in my mouth, okay. So they don't know. Basically, they say this is what I'm going to pay you. Oh, what? Then pork in your mouth. Oh, wow. Good amount. I don't know. Good. Just touching it. Mm -hmm. You like the flavor? Mm -hmm. Hold for a while. Mm -hmm. And kimchi in your mouth. You got a little poquito rice, so a little, that's perfect amount. Mm -hmm. Then put together and start chewing together. Go back to rice again. Some more rice. All right, okay. you got, good. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So make your tongue happy. Mm -hmm. Keep your hands keep moving. Your Never mouth is done. like this. <laughs> all right, not, I not, love it. Not individual stuff. Okay, right? all together. Just keep whatever your tongue says, not about your brain. Okay. Y'all, I just got taught how to eat properly. That was amazing. <laughs> I mean, it definitely takes all the flavors to another level when you put it all together. The rice on its own is actually salted, I think. It's really good, but when you mix it all together, I guess that's the way to do it for a reason. It makes it much more enjoyable. All right, let's see if I learned well. So, shove a bunch of rice in there. Remove some meat. Can you see? More rice. Lunch was amazing. So good. It's really cold out here. <laughs> it's Jeez. so cold. You guys, I bought a scarf. Do you think it's big enough though? Could be bigger. <laughs> Could be a little bigger. I feel like I'm wearing a neck brace, but it's so warm. But there's a bakery that we found uh, just a couple blocks away, so we're gonna hit that up. Yeah. And afterwards, I think we're just gonna explore Seattle a bit. Yeah, it's not the worst day. Not well, it's been snowing day. most days, so. Yeah. So at least it's not snowing today. But yeah, I feel like we haven't gotten to see much of the city, so we'll just wander around a bit. This 
the bakery is called the Fuji Bakery. They have a bunch of delicious items on display. Is it a Japanese bakery, I Japanese guess? Japanese French. Japanese French bakery. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense because yeah. this one that we got with the strawberries on top of it is called fraise, which yeah. means strawberries in French. Yeah. You got some custard in there. It looks like a like croissant almost. It's like really fluffy. And then we got this custard filled bun that looks pretty tasty. Just sounded good. Nice and simple. So this one said it's a fan favorite. It's really light and airy. <laughs> well that is an absolute delight. That is delicious. It's so flaky in there and light and crispy. With the cream it's, it's really, really good. Crumbly. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Mm. We got two guys going nuts out here. <laughs> I think they're about to go at it. These guys are still screaming out there. But the one guy walked off, so I guess no fight today. Anyways, we've got this delicious custard filled bun that I'm about to bite into. Open this sucker up. Ooh, got a nice subtle bit of custard up in there. Ooh, ooh, that's delightful. Oh, man. It's like deliciously buttery and the custard is excellent. Mm. Oh, this one's good. <laughs> this is really good. This here is the Seattle Pinball Museum, which we heard was really cool, but we were gonna go, but it's $15 for the day and we really just wanted to go in for like an hour. <laughs> I don't think they have like an hourly rate. No, but apparently $15 you can play as long as you want. Yeah. There are quite a few people in there, I'm impressed. We had to at least step in for a second and scope it out. Man, that looks like a lot of fun. I mean, I'm not crazy about pinball, but I could definitely play it a bit though. They had a lot of machines in there. Yeah. Next I, time. And they have booze too. And yeah. I think other levels. So it probably gets even cooler. I could probably enjoy pinball more after a few beers. Let's <laughs> just say that. So we have to do one really boring thing while we're out here. If you guys don't remember, over the summer I lost my passport getting off the plane in London. Had to get a temporary one. It expires in a few months. But we're about to hit the road internationally again. So I have to get it replaced. So now we have to go to the post office. I have to send them an old passport and get a new one. And it's been a nightmare. All right, passport hopefully sorted. We're just bumbling around the city. We came across the uh, International District Community Garden, which is pretty much just like a makeshift garden built into the hill. And there are fences around everything, I guess, to keep like uh, the passers-by out. Yeah. Like, could see that they could easily rob the uh steal the food we didn't really realize seattle is so hilly it reminds yeah. us of san francisco it's kind of crazy we've just been wandering around seattle for the last few hours <laughs> trying to get some last minute winter gear you guys um, we couldn't find any gloves they didn't have a single <laughs> pair of gloves in this entire city well, oh. to be fair, we went to a bunch of random stores. So I went to Old Navy. Well, Old they Navy, TJ Maxx, Target, Ross. But kind of unpetted. anyways, we need a break and we need a drink. Uh, our meetup starts in like 20 minutes or so. So we're going to head to Red Hook Brew Lab, which is just a place that we picked out of thin air to have the meetup. <laughs> we just walked by it on our way to our uh, apartment the other night. Yeah, we're it like, seemed yeah. big. So And they have a ton of beer. So yeah. we're going to get a bunch of beer, meet some of you guys, and have fun. It should be pretty Let's awesome. Guys, the meetup is underway and people actually showed up. Hey everybody! <laughs> Let's do like an epic cheer shot. Oh yeah! That's yours, yeah. Let's do a cheer shot. Woo! Everybody get in there! Let's see how far your arms can reach. <laughs> I'm dinging everybody, damn it. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys, the meetup was freaking amazing. 
but it's like eight o'clock now and it is freezing out here it's snowing you guys it's been snowing every day it's that we've legit been here. accumulating on everything i hate now. it it's so cold but we're really hungry so we gotta go to a grocery store and then we gotta go home and do all the laundry before we head to alaska tomorrow because they're turning off the water in our apartment at like 9 a.m so we have to have everything done by 9 a.m we're back at our place meetup was a success we ran out and got we, we're trying to keep it cheap tonight, so we ran out and got a couple salads salad at the local supermarket. A really fancy We wine. may or may not have gotten some wine. This wine is actually really good, Rex Goliath. That is like our go-to wine. Yeah. But we want to give a huge thank you to everyone who showed up to the meetup. We had so much fun Guys, chatting with everyone today. It. it was so nice yeah. chatting about like where people are from, where they're wanting to go. Yeah, it's we were nervous just like with the first meetup that we did in London. You know, if people are going to show up or you know maybe mainly that <laughs> like yeah. are we gonna be there by know. ourselves people are gonna show up. but a bunch of people showed up it was really fun and we got to know everybody and it was great yeah it was a, good I had time. a lot of fun and the it was beers cool. were really good that red yeah hook. red hook brew lab red hook brew lab check that place out yep. if you're in seattle because mm -hmm. they their beers are on point tomorrow we're gonna fly to alaska which oh we're gosh. so freaking excited about we're flying to alaska it's gonna be great we were talking about it all night tonight oh. I cannot yeah. wait. Yeah, it's, we're so excited about it's it. It's a bucket list state. I mean, yeah, I think the nature up there. Uh, hopefully, we can show it off properly. But the nature up there is going to be amazing. It's just going to be bananas. Yeah. yeah. So stay tuned for the travel day tomorrow, though. It's going to be a lot of fun. Wait. I can't wait. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.